Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michaela. So for today's video, I'm going to go over a alternative gift guide. It's probably not a gift guide you would like think of or that you've ever really seen before. However, I was thinking about um, what I wanted for Christmas this year and I honestly just don't want anything. I have nothing on my list. I have asked before um, that my family give me experiences um, rather than actual physical stuff. I don't know about you, but we have all of the clothes, towels, kitchen gadgets that you could possibly ever imagine we don't need anymore. So um, I'm really big on gifting experiences. So here's a list of 11 different alternate ideas of things that you can gift for Christmas. First off, I just wanted to say we're back with the ugly sweater gang. This is... <laughs> It's a llama and I just love this. I love, this is my favorite ugly sweater, I think. I just, I love this llama. He even got a little hat with a little pom pom. So as I mentioned, a lot of things on this list are not necessarily physical items or material items, um, but you know, experiences that people can go to or enjoy. And I know you're probably thinking like, why gift experiences? Well, you can gift experiences to create memories. Some of these items can help you save money and you can spend time with that person or they can spend alone time or they can spend time with their person, depending on how you go about gifting these experiences. So let's just jump right into this list. So first up on this list is gifting someone a home-cooked meal. If you are famous for your cornbread or your lasagna or your Swedish meatballs or whatever recipe you're famous for, why not gift that to someone? Especially if like, you know, their lives are busy and you know, they rarely cook, things like that. I would love a home-cooked meal as a gift because like we don't cook all the time. And if somebody actually cooked for me, I would be there forever grateful to be honest. So I think this one is a really good idea. So number two on the list can actually be kind of pricey depending on um, how much this might cost. But I have here on the list to offer to pay someone's bill, whether that's um, a water bill, a phone bill, gas bill, electric bill, whatever, or to offer to pay their rent for the month. And again, that might be kind of pricey. So you can even offer to pay half the rent or a third or just donate towards towards the rent or towards a bill. Um, I think this one is like really unconventional. So I feel like people don't ask for this or people don't think to ask for this, but um, I think that it's a really thoughtful gift on your part if you offer to do this for someone. Number three on the list is if they have kids, offer to babysit. And I mean like babysit kind of for the free since it's a gift. That way they have either some time to themselves, whether you're babysitting and they're upstairs and you're downstairs or they're in another room and you're in another room and they just want some time to themselves to relax or whether they go out, you know, on the town, that's on them. But just offering to babysit or help out with the kids, especially if it's like a newborn or things like that. I think that this one is a really thoughtful gift. Number four on the list can actually go hand in hand with number three. You can gift them a night out. So if they do have kids, you can all you can offer to watch their kids and offer to pay for their date night or for them to go to the movie, a spa day, anything like that. You can gift them those kind of experiences. Um, and even if they don't have kids, you can even just gift them the opportunity to go to a restaurant, go to a movie, a show, a concert, a vacation. That one can get kind of pricey, but you can offer to gift them a vacation. That's definitely an experience. Um, obviously safely because we're in this whole pandemic. So make sure to be safe. Make sure they're comfortable before you do gift them vacations or gift them um, going to concerts or things like that. If they're not comfortable with that, just just be mindful. <laughs> You don't want to spend all your money on these tickets beforehand and then they don't want to go because they're not comfortable. So be safe with that one. Number five on the list is gifting them a cup of coffee and a listening ear. Just taking your friend out to coffee, I think, is just a nice thing to do. Someone So then that way they have somebody to just talk to. They can sit and enjoy their cup of coffee. Y'all can chat. It's just a nice, a nice gesture and it's fairly inexpensive. 
So I think this one's a good one as well. Another inexpensive item on the list is to do a touristy activity in your town or city or even in like a close tourist town or city so you're not like driving too far. But a lot of times there's like free museums, free shows, free activities or either cheap activities that you guys can do together or that they can do by themselves. But gifting them an experience of just like being a tourist for the day in their own city I think is a really cool idea. Number seven on the list is to plan a date with them and whether you're dating or not I mean you can have a friend date, you can have a parent date, a mom date, a dad date, whatever whatever you want to do plan a date with them. This can be going to get ice cream, this can be going to um, go for a walk in the park. This can be going out to lunch. There's a lot of different things that you guys can do, keeping it fairly inexpensive or free with the walk in the park. Um, you can even plan to do a picnic while you're there at the park or, you know, just gifting them the experience of spending time together. Another free or inexpensive option to gift is to have a game night for them. So if you know somebody who loves board games, you can have all of their favorite board games laid out when they come over. Or if they're into card games or even video games, you can create an entire night around having that gaming experience. So number nine on the list is for everyone who has a small business or if you perform a service, you can gift that talent or skill to them for the night. So for example, if you are a photographer, you can gift them a free photo session. If you are a chef, a professional chef, you can gift them a free dinner. Um, if you're a painter, you can gift them a free painting or you can even gift them a commission, a free commission. That way, like they can come to you whenever they're ready to get their painting and they say, this is what I want versus you giving them something that you've already done or something that you made for them. Um, if you are a crafter or have like a small business and make candles or shirts, scarves, whatever, you can gift them something that maybe they've been eyeing for a while or something that you think that they would like or even something from your new line that's exclusive that no one has ever seen before. Um, I feel like that's really special and personal, especially if they know you and your business and how hard you've worked in your business. I think that this can be a really fun and thoughtful gift. Especially if you're going the photography or like chef route, even if you're not a chef, you can literally just like come to their house and cook for them um or you know even if you're not a photographer you can just take pictures for them but that kind of gives you the extra bonus of like gifting them that experience but also being able to spend time with your friends and family that way so for number 10 on the list, you can give somebody a subscription box, a membership, or even lessons. So if you know that they're interested in piano lessons or guitar lessons, you can gift them maybe like a year worth of lessons or six months worth of lessons, or you can gift them a subscription box. And there's tons of subscription boxes out there. There's candle subscription boxes, like lotions, um, food. There's so many things out there that you can gift them. Memberships, if you know that they're interested in like learning a, um, a skill online you can also gift them memberships to like the websites that have those kind of skills <laughs> for them especially if you're going to gift lessons or membership to like those online communities that teach you something I think this is a really nice way to show your friends and family that you support them in their growth to achieve their dreams and number 11 on the list is probably the most important and easiest one to do it's to literally just ask your friends or family what they want for Christmas and I think you need to like phrase it in a way to let them know that you're interested in gifting them an experience. Um, you can say like, hey, what do you actually need? Like, what do you really need? You know, do you need me to pay your bill this month? Do you need me to watch your kids this month? Do you need a day off? Like, you know, ask them what they want and they will tell you. But I think you, you just have to like be mindful of when you ask, what do you want for Christmas? People automatically are kind of geared to say, material things or a physical item where you can just say like, hey, you know, what do you really, really need? I'm interested in gifting you an experience. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have ever gifted an experience or you if you've been gifted an experience and what that was and how did you like it? Did you not like it? You know, let me know. I'm interested in gifting more experiences and I'm interested in asking for more experiences. So I need some more to add to my list. Let me know down below and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.